Hey everyone, and welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. I thought I'd do a midweek little excursion. I got my uh, backpack. You'll notice it's got a little more of a hump on it. It's that uh, that stove I made. Remember I demonstrated it on the deck and I'm going to set my deck on fire? Not really, but you know. <laughs> I thought I'd bring a, a little bit of charcoal briquettes and uh, have some smokies and uh, just enjoy an hour or so out here and then going back again. Yeah, got the 20 gauge with me. She's all good to go. And uh, I'm heading up a trail that's uh, near the bivouac. And uh, the guy, uh, Ted Barnsby, it turns out, it's not John Barnsby. For some reason, I kept calling him John Barnsby. It's Ted Barnsby. Um, this is the other side of his uh, of the property. Actually, interestingly enough, that stream right there, if I was to follow that back, would head to my bivouac. About 100 yards or so away. I'm right on the other side of the property, so I'm kind of curious as to where this goes. Apparently there's a little camping area, and it has a, it even has an outhouse. It's kind of cool because uh, it'd be nice to come out here and maybe set a tent and have a more of a domestic camping situation as opposed to a uh, bushcraft thing so my wife can come along and we can have maybe a the teepee tent and uh, stuff like Coleman lantern and you know a little more of the comforts of home so we can have a, a few drinks and some um, steaks on the barbecue and kind of go that route. I have the key to this uh, to this place so I can drive right in actually. I didn't do that I wanted a little exercise thought I'd walk in but uh, yeah I have the key to it so I can just actually drive right up to the campsite, which is kind of nice. All right, uh, let's see uh, where this goes. I've never gone up here before. I've seen it on uh, the Google satellite, so I know it's not too far, but uh, we'll see. All right, so here we are. This is the, uh, the campsite. This looks pretty nice. Got a picnic table, a whole bunch of firewood. I don't see the outhouse anywhere. Ah, there it is over there, right up there. There's the outhouse. Well, this is pretty nice. Some uh, benches to sit around, nice picnic table. I'll give you a 360. This is the direction I came from. Yeah. Well, this is pretty nice. I could definitely have to do a camp experience here. All right, so here's the pack here. And uh, here's the stove, wrapped it up. It weighs nothing. It's like an ounce maybe. I don't know, it's hardly anything at all. I wasn't sure what the water situation was, so I got some extra water with the grail. And I'm going to be uh, having some smokies. I brought four, because I wasn't sure if my wife would be coming along. I wasn't sure if she's going to be working or not. And here's the, uh, the charcoal briquettes. Standard charcoal briquettes. So I'm going to take that out of there and put the charcoal briquettes on. And uh, we can start doing our thing. Don't want to burn the table just in case. brought some fat wood to start it. I could of course just use normal wood as well. Just curious as to if this would work as a um, as a little miniature barbecue. 
have the grate for it as well, which is going to be good. It's going to be great. <laughs> Brought bug spray in case I need it, but I don't think I will. And four uh, cheese smokies. All right, so let's get the fat wood in here. I think I'll light this one because it's nice and small. There go on a little bit. All right. That was going pretty good. And it's going to be a pretty high fire, I'm assuming, for a little bit. But then it's going to calm down. I think I'm going to be able to use it as a barbecue, no problem. turned it around to face the, the wind so that the wind was going in here. That seems to be going good. The cats have definitely taken off. Now it's just a matter of waiting. Yeah, those are all ready. Oh, probably another five or six minutes and this be ready to cook my Smokies. There's a really nice uh, area over here across the road. They've obviously taken the bulldozer and <clears throat> flattened it all out. It's a really nice camping area. Set up a tent here or in here or maybe a hammock. Just like that. Really nice. Bit of a swampy thing going on here. Not sure in the summertime how much in the way of mosquitoes there's going to be, but still a very nice area. I got a, a swing all set up and ready to go. Yeah, and this is literally, I don't know, maybe 75 yards away from my, uh, from my bivouac. Um, the road goes in a U and the road that I initially go on uh, to get to the bivouac is the other side of the U and then it goes around and then comes through this way and then um, back towards the road. Remember where I used to park uh, a couple times because of the snow? Well, that road is, is at the at that end there, so. <clears throat> She's doing good. Just in case you guys are wondering, the, um, the 20 gauge has rounds in it, but there's no round in the chamber. I would have to cock it and cock it back to uh, put any rounds in the chamber. Just in case you think I cut a loaded shotgun with a round in the chamber, I don't. Put the grill on just to get rid of any uh, bacteria that might be on the grill. It's been sitting um, for a little bit, so we'll let the heat build that up and then uh, we'll chuck these smokies in here. Okay. Makes that nice roasting sound. I think that's going to work out perfectly. and organic ketchup.
It really does make the perfect little barbecue and weighs as much as an MJB coffee can. And again, I could have very easily just used sticks around here and used that uh, instead of char charcoal briquettes, but I just finished work at 5 o'clock. It's 5.30. I figured, hey, why not, right? I put uh, Gorilla Tape around the top of this so there's no way it could spill out because that would really suck. I got these in um, baggies and I left them in the sun so they are actually steaming just like um, Orange Julius has theirs. So these are definitely done. Oh, they're nice and soft. Okay, smoky. Onions. Ketchup. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. <laughs> what? Really good. I couldn't get any messier. Got ketchup all over me. <laughs> well, those were incredible. It's got some pretty good heat going right now. I'm wondering if I can get uh, some water boiling, maybe for a mocha. Give it a shot. I don't know if it's going to be hot enough when you, you know, it's cold, so I should be able to. It's handy because um, when we get the fire ban later on in the year, I can actually use this to um, to cook and do my camping thing, and I think that'd be pretty awesome. Instant mocha. That's what we're looking for. All right, so let's get all this stuff. I got hot chocolate and coffee and whitener and pancake mix and all sorts of stuff in here. All right. You guys remember these uh, these little hooks for the for the water bottle? You'll see I have one on the other side there, and it's just uh, it's just hooked right on. They're really quite nifty. <clears throat> All right, will it boil? Now, I don't have to have the grill on here, so I can take the grill off and maybe get it a little bit closer to the fire. Well, that's interesting. Look at that. It fits. <laughs> it fits perfectly as if it was made for the kettle. That's crazy. All right. So the briquettes weren't hot enough, so I just added um, some cedar to it and uh, just let the stove work as the, uh, the heavy-duty stove that it's meant to be, and that should boil the water no problem. It just, uh, just wasn't getting hot enough. Um, not sure why. All right, that worked really well. Just a little bit of wood. That's all it took to get it going. Instant mocha. So there's instant coffee, um, mocha or um, hot chocolate, and whitener. Or um, skim milk, sorry. Yeah, let's put the whole thing. What the heck? need a stirring stick. <clears throat> All right, let's try. 
Try this. Whoa, that's a little strong. Need some more water. I'll take a big sip and then add some more water. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. That'll be better. Hmm. That's really hot. <clears throat> so this is what the uh, inside looks like. Just had a few cedar pieces in there. The heat right now is pretty incredible coming out of there. It just needed a bit of a boost. The um, charcoal briquettes just weren't doing it. Not enough to boil the water. Anyway, I, mean, I could have waited a little longer, I suppose, but I'm impatient. So that, uh, that stove worked out really well. I'm really happy with it. Um, it packs up really nicely uh, in the pack. Uh, great for a, a day hike. Um, it would probably cook a steak no problem at all. I can't see why it wouldn't. And it probably would have boiled the water if I was more patient, but it was like, ah, I don't want to wait. And there's a whole pile of wood right there. And there's some cedar on top that's uh, bone dry from the sun today. So I just broke off a couple of pieces and did that. So, Well, I think I'm going to use this from now on um, as a day um, camp area with maybe my wife. I'm going to obviously do the bivouac thing um, more often than not, but... Uh, this is nice. It's got the amenities that you can just relax. You don't need to do anything. Sometimes that's that's okay. Um, I got uh, firewood there. I'm going to, of course, replace the firewood as I use it. I'm not going to use uh, Ted's firewood. I'll use it, but I'll replace it right away. Um, easily chop down and get some more wood. But uh, yeah, I like it. And uh, that's pretty good. Ted, if you happen to be watching this, thanks a lot for letting me use your property. Um, it's the first time I've used this area here, and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, thanks a lot. Well guys, I guess that's just about it. I'm gonna get heading back to the truck. My wife will be home at about 6.30 or 7 o'clock and spend the rest of the evening with her. Thanks a lot for joining me today. Uh, Vancouver Island Bushcraft is uh, doing really well. Lots of subscribers. <laughs> Not 350, 550. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. Anyway, you guys take care. Um, thanks for subbing. If you haven't subbed, please do so and share and like. And uh, you guys take care of yourselves.